The leadership of the National Assembly has called on governors of the 36 states of the Federation to prevail on the Assembly's hasten conclusions of the ongoing constitutional review exercise by passing the amendment bills before them. Both Senate President Ahmad Lawan and Speaker Femi Baja Biamila made a call in separate remarks at the Second Distinguished Parliamentarians Lecture 2022, organized by the National Institute for Legislature for Legislative and Democratic Studies on Monday in Abuja. Correspondent Rosemary Kokotega reports. President of the Senate, Ahmed Lawan, while declaring the series open, expressed concern over the pace of attention given to the constitutional review process by state houses of assembly and their governors. Similarly, Speaker of the House, Mr. Femi Bujabia Miller, while on the lecture with the topic, delivering on a contract with Nigerians, implementing the legislative agenda of the Ninth House of Representatives, progress, challenges and way forward, said the whole process has been stalled by refusal of state houses of assembly to pass amendment bills transmitted to them. I'm talking about the chairman. I think we'll task you to lobby for us. We have sent the outcome of our constitution and we are yet to receive all from the states. As it is today, it is doubtful that the current constitutional amendment effort will conclude before the expiration of the legislative arm, uh, the legislative term. I pray it does. We want it to. Chairman of the session and the governor of Kaduna State, Malam Nasir El Rufai, commended the Ninth Assembly for passing landmark legislations and further asked for, among others, enactment of legislation to make the first 12 years of education free and compulsory in the country. Like Oliver Twist, I think this assembly in the last six months can still do a bit more. And I'll list a few areas, seven areas. Uh, first, is state and community policies. Secondly, the fact that the value-added tax is not on the exclusive list, the federalization of the judiciary, because Nigeria, again, is the only federation with a unitary judiciary, which does not work for everyone. Earlier in an address of welcome, Director General National Institute for Legislative and Democratic Studies, NILS, organizers of the event, Professor Abubakar Suleiman, acknowledged the role of the present assembly in the country's polity, expressing the hope of better days ahead. There is a greater expectation that today's lecture will not only properly define concepts, articulate position, and agree on areas of accord while chatting ways to resolve areas of discord. It will further make legislative processes even clearer to Nigerians. The series is an avenue for appraisal of the Nigerian parliament, exposing achievements as well as challenges to give room for improvement. The first edition held in 2021. Rosemary Kokotiga, ASO Television News.